show hosted by Nikki Glazer and a comedian named Andrew Collin, who I was uh, not familiar with. And I guess there's probably a good reason for that. I like funny comedians who tell jokes, mm. which is maybe why he's not on my radar. Interesting concept. I want to start this off, and I apologize. It's going to be a longer clip. It's the longest clip I have. But this is how bad they are at improv. <laughs> Their improv skills are atrocious. This yeah. is a show that is four days a week, Monday through Thursday. And Nikki's been doing shows. She was on Sirius XM for a couple of years with a show. She's been doing shows in radio for a long time. Well, I uh, I actually looked up her uh, uh, Wikipedia page. I was yeah. Curious. And uh, she's been podcasting since 2011 on various things. Okay. So just a lot of hours behind the microphone, which was a complete shock to me. It's it's, it's surprising. She's been yeah. on the Howard Stern show. She's been a guest on the Howard Stern show. She's been on Joe Rogan three times. She should be good at this you would think just from practice yeah well and i looked up some of the roast stuff and it was sure fantastic. She's, she's funny yeah. yeah it was really really good which again uh, and was I, a shock to thank me. you for saying that because i want to say i'm not knocking her comedy i'm knocking her podcasting ability it is terrible if you think gambling's fun look at these wait tell me <laughs> call me and try to get money from me and i'm the person okay. that like Who's the weirdest? You'd be person? my stepmom. Who's the like? Be my stepmom. Really? Yeah, that'd is this be someone funny. you were? Because I didn't want my dad to know. Okay. I was like, "Hello." Ring, ring. ring Hello. Ring. Hey, hey. Wait, what? Give me some like character, like. Uh, my give step, me some... my stepmom. She's her name's G- uh, Jeannie. Something. Jeannie. Okay. She lives down in Florida. She's not south. She's from Pennsylvania. She's a little southern, but she doesn't sound southern. Okay. Um, is she like uh, a chipper person? Is she mean? Is she somewhere in the middle? Okay. Hello. Not bad. Hey, Jeannie. What's up? Hey, Andrew. Um, I'm just gonna do my mom. <laughs> so, say. what's going on? How's everything going down there? Um, things are good. What, what do you need? No, I was just seeing how Jake is going. How's Jake doing? Uh, Jake's good. He just Jake, got Jake. Yeah. Jake. Yeah, your son. Yeah, I said Jake's good. Yeah. And Jay. Yeah. Jake's Jay, good too. Cool. Yeah, Jake. But Jake's uh yeah, Jake's here. Do you want to talk to him? Hey Jake. Uh No, no, I just want to talk to you for right now. Uh, oh, okay. Well, how are you, hon? Uh, I've been good. How's college? College is good, studying and everything and Is everything okay? Well, I don't want to I mean, are you guys are you alone? What's going on? I mean, I got Jake here, but uh, I'm in another room. Are you okay? <laughs> what did um, I start with this? So, uh, it's so bad. I don't know. This is embarrassing, but I, I spent like like six hundred dollars last night like gambling on mm-hmm. um, blackjack and like mm-hmm. and um I don't have money to pay rent and I know it's I just I want to go to my da- I want to go to dad but I just I don't know I just feel really oh, uncomfortable oh, and I was wondering if maybe you could didn't we me. have the same call yesterday where did the money go that I gave you for rent yesterday I, now is this money gonna go to rent I can't promise you <laughs> the musical I'll buy you tickets to it. Uh, you know, I don't like AIDS. <laughs> Genie. <laughs> so not an attempt at a joke that entire time. And then at the end, it's just rapid fire. Like, oh, we had this conversation yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, but uh, what do you mean, Rhett? You mean the musical? No, I don't like AIDS. <laughs> Great association there, guys. That was an 11-minute buildup to a random <laughs> cutaway punchline. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Crows, what do you got for us today, buddy? Uh, well, you know what? I actually have a little bit of improv, too. My number four, they started talking about parenting. And then, like, what would it be like to be a parent? What are those on your ears? Uh, they're earrings. No. Those things that you're wearing on your ears, what are those? Oh, these are headphones. What What are they? They connect to the um, to the Zoom here, and then you can get sound. Why? There's- because uh, the computer is uh, talking inside my ears. Why? And uh, maybe this is just me, but uh, anyone who's that good at pretending to be five years old, that's a huge red flag. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that was a little too sharp for my tastes. My show summary is the number one, and my apologies to the entire human race for this one. Wait, did you poop, though? Or... Oh, yeah. Oh. L- so much. And then Sorry. you're also bleeding. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I wasn't even mad. I was so disappointed. Yeah. In her. I was so disappointed in her. This show was very disappointing. Because I've and seen her stand up and yep. I think she's funny. And this podcast sucked. They really try to force jokes. They're talking about, I guess this guy went to college in New Orleans, but he was there before Katrina. 
So they're talking about the threat of the levee breaking. I remember we were at like the dorm and people being like, you know, the levee, if it broke, the water would be up to the third floor here in our dorm. And, and everyone was like, like, yeah, right. Yeah, right, dude. I'm doing bong rips, fucking and blown into a Gatorade can. What part of my bong would the water get to? Yeah. Because I need to fill it back up anyway. It'd be fucking easier to hold my kegs because then I don't have to use my arms. I just use the water from the levee. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's much easier to do a keg stand when you're, like, you know the way you do a handstand in water? Yeah. It's much easier to, like, do a handstand in water. That'll be sweet when the floods come. Wow. <laughs> and wow. Th- th- I'm not, like, pulling these things out and going, well, this one part, they kind of didn't land a joke at all. Like, the entire show is this. It's an hour and 15 minutes a day of this. Of, of just never landing a joke. And it's funny because near the end of this... Nikki points out that this guy had a bomb, <laughs> and it's it's perplexing that she would do this. <laughs> and banana even during the summer, I've never played it, but I've got, been given it as a gift so many times. Let's get to final thought. I like Teddy Grahams. Okay, so this one's a little long, <laughs> but it's from Steve uh, from the other part of the world. Steve O. <laughs> I really loved just letting you say I love Teddy Grahams. I really do. Though. It was almost like I like turtles. <laughs> It was the same. We have to steal the audio from using I Love Teddy Grams and After then the I Like Bidu. Turtles guy. Nikki, you're calling him out for bombing? You, <laughs> both of you just bombed the entire show. This entire show is I Like Turtles. It's way more entertaining. It's a way funnier line than anything they said on this show. Also, it's like we spend five and a half hours a week saying random shit into a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> you just said a random thing. Yeah. Wow. Good one. Okay. It's a lot of that stuff, too. So you heard him say uh, banana grams, and he's like Teddy Grams. So they just do this word association thing yeah. that's the opposite of funny yeah. or interesting in any way. And I, like you said, Jen, it's disappointing. Yeah. They're comedians. Yeah. Uninspired comedians. Uh, I've got a turkey for you here. Uh, my number 10, so they had, a, so this is one of those shows where they read the internet to you, and they have a whole thing of offbeat news stories. One of them involved a fortune cookie, then they go to something else for two minutes, then they randomly come back to it real quick. Um, okay, that is, uh, do you, fortune cookies, did he also, did one of the balls say in bed? Does anyone get that joke? Oh, because you add in bed. Because you always add your, yeah, in bed yeah, to yeah, fortune yeah. cookies. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh my god! I don't even know what I'm listening to here. <laughs> now I'm wondering if these this show has a big following. It's on uh, iHeart Radio, mm-hmm. so they have uh, you know corporation behind them, and they're talking about they did this show earlier in the week where they did like a true crime show for some reason. The Nikki Murder Podcast. I I gave that one about 20 minutes because they kept saying, we're going to review this podcast. We're going to review this podcast. And they never reviewed it. And then I skipped to the end and they're like, well, um, I guess you could have just listened to that because we just kind of repeated everything that they said. I'm like, oh, okay. I missed this one. So apparently people weren't thrilled with that episode of their show. I imagine. It's a Nikki Laser Murder Podcast. Oh, no, no, we're not doing that. Don't worry, don't worry. Normal show, normal show. It's just Even though a, people liked it. Yeah. Welcome I would to say, the Thursday uh, show. Positive to negative, probably around uh, 35 positive to two negative. Oh, okay. That's an underwhelming number of responses to something. <laughs> 35 to two? I thought the same thing. I'm like, is this? Are, is anyone listening to this show? I, I guess not. Well, that's... Yeah. Well, and of the 20 minutes of the Tuesday show, 15 of it was spent on, well, this is going to be a weird show because Noah's not here and Noah keeps everything together and <laughs> Noah really keeps us together and she's just the best. And, and they just kept going on and on and on. So uh, I listened to the next day and I swear to God for the first hour, this is the only thing that Noah says. It's number five. And if you blink, you will miss it. Wait. So wait, did you... I. We gotta go to break. You're you're very you're very calm with animals. <laughs> yeah, like, let's talk already, about it when yeah. we get back. It's wild, Canyon. Now I it, I give her points because like he never stops talking, so he's kind of right. always mid sentence. Yes. But he's like mid sentence. So <laughs> tell me, Nikki, you said she's like we gotta go to break, and then like that's the only. <laughs> they like, started playing music as if Whoopi Goldberg was talking about the Holocaust. They're <laughs> like, oh, we gotta we gotta cut this right now. <laughs> no, no, hold that thought though. That's a good idea. <laughs> let's, let's let's we'll come back to it. Yeah. Uh. Put a pin in it real quick. So at the end of the show, there's a couple different segments they have in the show. At the end is a thing called Fanthrax. Uh, we're back, and it's time for Fanthrax. Fanthrax. 
Okay, let's Seamus? get into it. Noah, play us some um, play us some messages from our our best. <laughs> that's exactly. I'm like, if this was Patrick Mike, I'd be like, that's pretty low production. But it's not. It's the Nikki Glazer podcast on iHeart Media yeah. or Radio, whatever it is. All right, so listen to this fucking voicemail, guys. They played two voicemails. These are curated. It's not like they're picking them up randomly. They decided that this was worth playing on the show. This is a good insight into the type of people who might be listening, you know, the 37 people who are listening to Nikki Glazer podcast. Hi, Noah, Nikki, and Andrew. I was just listening to the podcast where um, Noah was absent and Nikki and Andrew covered the murder podcast. I was scared just from you two describing the podcast. I can't listen to that type of podcast oh. because. It will ruin my week. Um, Good for you, but girl. I appreciate you covering it and Aww. giving me some insight. <laughs> and then at the end of the podcast, you talked about a story where you got a phone call while your parents were out of the house. Yes. And it scared you so bad that you locked yourself in a room. Yes. Similar things happened when I was younger. Um, people would call and I would have to say my mom was in the shower when they were like literally looking at her shopping in Walmart. I'm going to pause real quick. There is an ending to this. It doesn't seem like there's going to be, but it does end. But anyways, <laughs> one time we were playing a game where we were pretending that a clown would come out of the laundry room drain and we scared ourselves so bad with the game that we had to lock ourselves in our parents' bathroom. And when the parents got home, they were like, what is going on here? So I can totally relate to stories like that, just yes. scaring yourself so badly. And I appreciate the recap of the murder podcast because I will never be listening to it. Um, thank you. <laughs> and j -j 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 Jack Lantern. Jack Lantern. <laughs> That's so good. Allie. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I assume that that was an adult who just made that phone call. Ooh. Right? Physically, Maybe. yes. Mentally. Mentally, certainly not. And Nikki loved this call. She's like, oh my gosh, you know, good for you. If you don't want to listen to murder podcasts, you don't have to. Good good on you. And uh, then Nikki explains how to not be scared of the dark when you are scared of the dark. Like, I just do a reset of like, what what does this room look like during the day? And like birds chirping. How is this different? The only difference is that there's no light in here, but like everything's the same. Like you just have to kind of yeah, reset. Yeah. Like, what did this room look like earlier this morning when I, or what's it going to look like tomorrow morning? Like, because truly you know that whatever is going on is just a figment of your imagination. And that really, if you ever get murdered in your room, it's not going to be when you think it's coming. <laughs> I felt like this whole podcast. <laughs> Put me into her for brain. children. <laughs> yeah, well, who is this advice for? Right, and I don't want to be in that brain. So this caller calls in, who's completely irrational yeah. and a lunatic, and Nikki goes, that's awesome. Let me give you a pro tip on how to not be afraid of the dark. Not be afraid of the dark? Yeah, like, like you said, she could play five years old a little bit too well out here, and then they talk about being afraid of the shower, because remember this, the story was clowns are going to come out of the drain or something oh, like yeah. that? Yeah. I'm scared to take a shower now. Well, I've been afraid for a while for other reasons. Stuttering John, too. Hygiene. In the drain. <laughs> Hygiene. Hygiene. Is the clown's name Gene? I, I, have, a, I have a cousin, Gene. Ugh, he writes poems. They're terrible. No Runs fun. in the family. <laughs> Didn't skip a generation. Throttle bottle. It's like they're mining for comedy. I know that mining seems like a lot of fun and, yeah. and a joy, but it actually takes a really long time, and there's very little reward to it. Mm -hmm. There's no reward for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're mining for comedy in a mountain that has zero comedy. Oh. <laughs> if 1849 is over, you got to go somewhere else to look for it. Um, and then because of this very spectacular Tuesday show about uh, uh, murder. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is our thing is like we make murder podcasts palatable for people who are scared. No, that's my thing. That's the creep off. <laughs> It's my thing, Nikki. You don't do that. Oh, you consider the creep off palatable? <laughs> no, let's take, let's take Vinny out of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, all right, I want to get into the news segment oh, real quick. Uh, can I play the news intro? Yes. Number nine from yep. this day was incredible, man. It's awesome. Uh, let's get to uh, the news. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yeah, you heard it here first. 
Oh, man. I hope you're having all the swells out there. It's Wednesday. You know what that means, folks. It is Wednesday. Jacked up new segments. Jacked up new segments. Jacked up. I have, a, I have an example from a Thursday show. Yeah. Wait, hand me that straw over there. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yeah, you heard it here first. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, it's Thursday. You know what that means. It's Thursday. We've had some technical difficulties, but we're still having all the swells because we have a day off today. Your boy's playing golf, and Nikki, I believe, is getting a pedicure. What are you, doing? What are you wearing? My golf the, clothes. It's going to be hot out there, boy. No, it's 70 degrees today. Hi. Oh, okay. Your boy checks. All right. A Brooklyn-based engineer who created Wordle sells the brain teaser that has taken the world by storm to New York Times for a seven-figure sum. I'm trying to do the thing where you blow a straw into your armpit. It makes a fart sound. I saw it on TikTok. Or I saw it on Reddit. That was on TikTok. But it didn't work. Oh. Think about it. Would this be interesting (laughs) to you? Would you listen to this? So this guy, obviously calling himself your boy, is embarrassing. And Nikki's not even paying attention. Of She's course. not even listening yeah. to him. Anytime, Croge likes to say, the TV shows you watch are not your personality. You shouldn't talk about it that much. People who watch TikTok videos and tell you all the shit they saw in a TikTok video. Oh, yeah. Even more annoying, I would say. Half of the Wednesday show was them reading the internet to you. Oh, God. All right. So this Wordle story they're talking about. I guess they're both big fans of this game Wordle. Like yesterday, the word, spoiler alert for Wordle, go ahead 30 seconds on the podcast if you haven't played yesterday's puzzle. But actually, yesterday's over. It was moist. Um, and hey, that's uh, funny. Well, I don't think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> I, don't, I don't agree with that. So they explain that Wordle sold to the New York Times for seven figures. Mm-hmm. And this is very confusing to them because they're not accountants. How can they possibly know what that means? It's. It, but I heard he sold it for the... Low millions, mm-hmm. low seven figures. Yeah. Which, whenever someone says the seven figures, why don't you just say in the low? Oh, I guess you can't. There's no like, f- they sold it for one to five well, million. Or it like, could be I nine just million. hate the yeah. figures because then I have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's so it's I one it was to a nine billion, million. Actually, now that you're saying that, yeah. I See, thought it was like a billion dollars. You thought he sold Wordo for a billion dollars? Yeah, but I didn't realize he's counting was the figures. Yeah, because when you count figures, it's a little. I totally agree with her on that. Why, <laughs> Coach? Tell me something that's obviously not true. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> the man can't tell a lie. It's admirable. I don't like to like. Alex Jones is pissed off at the crew. I totally agree with you. I, I 100% agree with you. All right, so they talk about this seven figures thing, and the woman thought that meant a uh, billion dollars because she's a moron, and then they turn this into a bit. This is a pretty good bit. No one says, oh, dude, I sold it for two figures. Exactly. That is did, so funny. <laughs> you have to do a bit about that. <laughs> it's your bit. You, you know it's when someone, bit. but you, you just enough. wrote the punchline. I it's know. Like, you no, one, it. no one does that. You're so right. <laughs> I got to pack up. So, um, yeah, like I, uh, I just, I just, I just released an NFT. Oh my God. And it's going for for? like one to two figures. Oh my God. I don't think it's funny. (laughs) (laughs) What are they doing? Why is that a bit? It's not a bit. Don't try that. Don't try that on stage. It's not a bit. And also, wouldn't you, you just have that committed to memory. Seven figures. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is not confusing to anyone. Yeah, Yeah. No, of course. Because it goes in threes. Yeah, I don't have to. <laughs> That's not. This is not confusing. I don't have to count the zeros to anyone. Well, it, uh, on the 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 one I listened to, the, all of the new segments were like really offbeat stories. Like it was stuff I hadn't. Or like the lead story was about the lotto numbers in a fortune cookie. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, if I was going to give him the, great story, Mark. <laughs> if I was going to give him the tiniest bit of credit, like at least you're not talking about like literally the same shit yeah. that every other podcast and tweet and article and everything else is talking about that day. Sorry, but, I, sorry, I brought up Whoopi. All right, I apologize. Well, no, it sounds like not only are <laughs> doing that but they're bringing less than nothing to the conversation like well, here's what everybody's talking about and we got nothing well the, you know the, the funniest thing is now listen i'm a business guy i'm in marketing so i want to show off my rapid knowledge about this stuff but these people are morons there are companies that made the same exact game same graphics everything about it and you can play it unlimited 
and no one's doing it. Well, it's no first, one I first know. to market, it's called, when that happens, too. What do you mean? First to market is like when... You stay true to that one. Yeah. No, that's not what first to market is. <laughs> that's brand loyalty is what you're talking about. But th- the funny thing is that they do this new segment. They got yeah. the intro for it. They're going to go into it. They talk about Wordle. And then they go, okay, we got to skip the rest of the news because we got to get into the, the fan thrax section. So there was one story about this game they like being sold to the New York Times. Like, That's not a news segment. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. Doesn't it have to be at least two stories to be a news segment? It can't just be one thing. One would think. It's a news tidbit. Yeah. You don't need like a, a stinger for that. You know, you don't need a jingle for one, one story. <laughs> That's it no. for the new. <laughs> yeah, it's just the new. <laughs> I get it. I get plural jokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Crouch. What what is good about this show? Do you find anything that you enjoyed? Uh, yeah, my number nineteen is uh, a daily segment that's part of the show. Final thought. I liked this video. Uh, Noah, can you play the one um, that I sent second, where it was? Uh, yeah, is a TikTok, and it said hiding pregnancy test under his waffles. Didn't expect his reaction. Oh well. And then they play the video and then they react to it. Like they read the internet to you and then play the internet for you and then laugh. And they go, huh? wasn't that funny? The thing that we just heard on the internet. And then they ended the show. Also, can I just point out, is there a video component to this? I think there is. I think that they're on YouTube. No idea. I don't know. But TikTok is interesting because it's video. It's a, it's a video platform. It'd be like if I did a podcast where I just talked to you about Instagram. You should see my Instagram feed right now. Well, this chick's hot. Wow, this chick's got big boots. Look at this skateboard trick. Whoa. Can you believe he did that? I didn't clip any of it, but they had entire segments that were going through subreddits, video subreddits. Oh, no. And then describing what the top videos were. And and I I can't even imagine anything less interesting. Actually, I can. I can imagine something less interesting. Uh, Number two is how they started off the Wednesday episode. And, again, apologize to the entire human race for making you listen to this. Uh, our audience isn't that big, Crush. Thank no. you, though. Know, I... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can see how you could be attracted to your parents because if they look like you and you think you're hot, they made you. It's their cum and stuff in you. Yeah. Their cum in you? Oh. Huh? Nice. Their... Yeah. Well, yeah, you are there. Yeah. Where are their late cum and stuff? <laughs> Weird. Remember the very beginning of <laughs> Look Who's Talking? Of life? Where they're come? Where the, the sperm are swimming. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's I... round, round, get around. I get around, round, get around. <laughs> and they're like d- 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 little like tadpoles are swimming. Yeah. So this is uh, at minute two. They're just going on and on and on about procreation, the miracle of life, which then goes into a lengthy discussion about the 1990 classic film, Look Who's Talking, <laughs> yeah. starring John Travolta and Curse the Alley, of course, the vocal talents of Bruce Willis. Who can forget? Um, it almost ended Travolta's career. We've been it ta- took Pulp Fiction to bring it back well, from that. I, I, it's cliche because we talk about it almost every week at fan <laughs> practice, but like, you know, yeah. uh, you know, sometimes you, a movie that good, you just got to go. Uh, number three is more talk about Look Who's Talking. Because it was on TV and... I remember asking my dad what it was, and he was like, he had to be like, um, it's like, like, cum. You know, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ejaculation's not that funny. I mean, I guess it can be. Like, like maybe a clown ejaculate would be like sword entertaining. I don't know. I don't think it's funny. Thank you. Thank you, Alex Jones. Um. Then they go to the zoo, and this shit was just fucking wild, man. Number six. They are the most prehistoric animal I've ever seen. If you look at a camel, legs, like, just it coming towards you, it is so dinosauric. <laughs> you stupid bastard. <laughs> right. Dinosauric is not a word. Yeah. Um, any bird, reptile, fish is, I mean, Usually are literally prehistoric, not Correct. like a mammal. Yeah. Any mammal, yeah, like, an, like an alligator, you might say, looks prehistoric. But yeah. And then here's more camel ca- talk, but only to annoy Carl. You know what they look like? They look like the not the human ver the animal version of those things in Star Wars, those big white things. Oh. Um, Do you know Noah? Oh, the you ones know? that I know who you're talking. Well, probably that was uh, um, inspired by a camel. Highly illogical. <laughs> 
Is he talking about an ad ad? I'm staring at one right here. Probably. No, I think he's talking about a tauntaun. The white things that walk around. Come on. I don't know. Want to keep going with zoo shit? Let's do it, man. Number eight. And uh, all right. Do you think giraffes laugh about giraffe laugh? (laughs) You think giraffes? Giraffes. laughs. Do you think they laugh when there's like the guy in the herd or whatever who has like the biggest dick? In the herd, and then he's like, "Dude, you're not gonna be able to take dick. all this dick." And then the giraffe has like the longest neck ever, and they're like, "Come on, dude, I could take your dick." Like, wait, what? Like a giraffe could deep throat another oh, giraffe. God. Oh. Wait, like when you said take your dick, yeah, you meant blow. Yeah, you. like yeah. No, I don't think the giraffes do that. <laughs> I do like that she just leaves him hanging for a long yeah, time. Yeah, he's actually but... a, trying to say something funny. I mean, it doesn't land. Yeah, Nothing not, ever fucking lands. Not fun. But yeah. give him a break for a, he was trying to do something there. Yeah. Um, I want to get back to uh, TikTok real quick yes, because please. this is another video. Please. Unfortunately, Andrew's already seen the video. You know what it reminds me of is that TikTok thing where she's like, <laughs> um, where you go, oh, what's what is it? It's it's the trick. Hold on, let me just think of it one second. I know we don't have a lot. Oh, um, how do you uh, repeat? Tell me what I'm spelling. Okay. Y e s. Yes. Okay. E y e s. I know this one. Right. And they go e s. Yeah, e s. And then the person's like, "What? E s, e s." And they're like laughing so hard. And yeah. she's like, "E y e s." And he's like, "E s." It's such a cute TikTok. Look up the E Y E S. It's eyes, by the way. And it's eyes. The whole time it's eyes. <laughs> if you're but at it's home going. It's so funny. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's funny. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't think it's what funny. What are they talking about? These are com- professional comedians on television. Yeah. <laughs> what what yeah. is going on? And the shit they talk about, like, they, they just have to fill time. And this is the problem with, like, morning shows. This is why podcasts are better than radio shows because they don't have to exist to fill time. Ideally. Ideally, <laughs> the platonic true. ideal of a podcast is way better than a radio show, but yet here we are. Yet here we are. Yesterday on set, though, I did see a guy going under a ladder a bunch to like get through a shot. You know what I mean? Like walk yeah, through. Yeah, how do you feel about those things? And I was like, oh my God, open an umbrella to go under or something like hit two bad luck things at once. Oh, wow. He had an umbrella on inside? No. Oh. Wait, oh, it Jesus. was outside, so never mind. That wouldn't have done oh, it. Bring a black cat. Me. Have a black cat. Go with you under Oh, it. you mean two negative. Two cancel out. Got Break you. a mirror. Step on a crack underneath a el- uh, ladder. Yes. Let's do that. Well, um, who fucking comes up with these things? But I, Walking I'm under good. a ladder. You're right. It would be exhausting dating me. I'm just going to say it's exhausting listening to you. Yeah. It's exhausting listening to your podcast. What grade are these two in? I don't know. <laughs> Why do they think they should do a daily show? They have nothing to talk about. Yeah. It's every day. That's that's the problem with this is if I had to do a show every day, I might bring up something I saw on the internet earlier that day because what else are you going to talk about? Yeah, yeah. They're obviously not prepping for this show. They're obviously just sitting down and going, all right, let's just start talking at each other and see what happens. Yeah, and I, I don't have any examples of this because they were long and boring and meandering, but, like, she's doing a movie shoot and then he's up to something, so, like, they're not Opie where they're, like, hiding in their apartment and trying to block us. <laughs> no one's Opie. <laughs> They're, they're, they're like working actors and like telling you about their day. So it's like at least there's some sort of hook there, but right. it's still, it wasn't interesting or, or entertaining or whatever. Oh, let me play some more examples of conversations that I can't believe they exist in the world. But. Wait, did we did this on the podcast before of how bad I am at exhaling or no inhaling. Inhaling. I have no inhale. Yeah. But my exhale is like fucking strong as shit. Yeah. I still don't understand what's going on there. It's really mind-boggling. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Um, And I'm the opposite. What? Who's bad at either inhaling or exhaling? Well, if you're bad at one of them, I think you'd be dead. (laughs) (laughs) Or you're stuttering. This is like, (laughs) Nikki should do a show with Burt Kreischer. Because those two could get together and be like, oh, oh, let's do that. Let's both inhale and exhale. Well, for the next 10 minutes, this is going to go viral. For the next 10 minutes, let's inhale and then exhale and then inhale again and then exhale. And someone grab peanut butter. You, <laughs> Dude, you laugh, but I will be playing that clip verbatim in their voices <laughs> at the Worst of the Year show. Oh, uh, and then the advertising during the show. Oh, tons Look through your it. children's eyes to see the true magic of a forest. <laughs> it's a storybook world for them. You look and see a tree. They see the wrinkled face of a wizard with arms outstretched to the sky. They see treasure and pebbles. 
They see a windy path that could lead to adventure. And they see you, their fearless guide through this fascinating world. Find a forest near you and start exploring at discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the United States Forest Service and the Ad Council. Why is there an ad for trees? Who's advertising trees? Where's all this tree money coming from? Let me look up that website real quick, honey. I want to find out how we can see a wizard. You um, see a wizard, I see a wizard sleeve. I want to say this is like targeted, where they're like, oh, you enjoy this type of comedy? Please get the fuck outside. Please. <laughs> yeah. Go breathe some there's, real oxygen. There's other things going on in the world. There's Walk around a little bit. Some of those brain cells might like kick back in. So I played a similar ad for Forrest when I was on the Drew and Mike show, because it was a podcast I was listening to that had this advertisement in it. And that inspired Brandon mm. to put together ads for other things. Oh, nice. <laughs> What's up in those clouds? <laughs> Probably tiny water droplets and ice crystals. I once saw a cloud that looked like boobs. <laughs> Find clouds near you at discoverclouds.com. <laughs> so today, today's show is brought to you by clouds. Uh, all right, here's another example. Oh, what was that website again? <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to you afterwards. Clouds. It's dot, in the show notes. Clouds.gov? <laughs> um, so... This is another example of Nikki saying the opposite of what would be funny or clever and Andrew just like losing his mind over it. Uh, what would you do in a fight? I'd love to see you in a fight, like a fist fight. Put my fist, try to put my fist through their face. <laughs> <laughs> ponderous, fucking ponderous. <laughs> <laughs> What's the comedy behind that? What would you do in a fight? Well, I'd probably punch someone in the fight. Yeah. Good one. A pretty good joke. Also, can I point out their fans are called besties? We haven't even brought this up yet. Oh. They refer to their listeners as besties. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> fucking this is this entire segment is cringe of the week right now. Mm. I don't know if you. It is. It's, it's so, so bad. It's so bad. And they think that things are funny that aren't funny. One of my favorite things my mom does, and I I love it more than anything, is anytime she burps. Literally, it is literally like saying God bless you after someone sneezes. Like, mm-hmm. it's just automatic. It's like when someone hits a foul ball and you go, ah, nah, nah, come down, nah, nah, nah. Come down, Namba. Like, it's like yeah. you can't help it. Mm-hmm. It's just what you Never do. Never heard anyone do that. She burps and she'll go like, do you, can you burp on command? Yeah, easily. Do it. <clears throat> Nikki. <laughs> so do it again. So the, pretend it's. <clears throat> EJ. She'll blame it on <laughs> yeah, someone else. Right it's away. so funny. It's, it's funny. Well, I don't think it's funny. <laughs> Alex hates the show. He's making a lot of sense today <laughs> for some reason. All right, so let's talk about more things that their hilarious moms are up to. And another one my mom does all the time is, uh, tell me I have something in my teeth. Um, Nikki, you have something in your teeth there. I, I like it there. <laughs> it's so, it just immediately makes it you feel stupid yes. about it. But she's not doing it to do that. It's just, my mom's really funny. All right, mm. let's get to the news. What, um, th- has your mom ever farted in front of you? Yeah, but we, it's, it's, my mom only farted one time in front of all of us. Oh my God. And she goes, I lived alone too long. (laughs) It's great. Your mom is hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh my God. It's so sad. So if that's what they think is hilarious, someone farting around someone else, and I can see why they think this is a good podcast. Yeah. Right? Oh, we just put words together. That was amazing. Did you guys hear that? Everyone hear that? Well, I don't think it's funny. Thank you. Uh, they also make a lot of awful noises. My number 13 is just a piece of that. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? There was no feedback that was like, that's, Not a, yet. that's a feedback sound. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the toucan. Oh, you know, God, I hate feed- that sound. It's the worst sound. Sorry, I didn't mean to Sounds do like that. Sounds like a knife on a chalkboard. A knife on, knife a, chalkboard. on a chalkboard. Yeah, I don't think that's what that is. Love so, that shit. I have to say, I used to host a show called The Peapod, and it mm. sounded better than this show <laughs> <Yeah>. sounds. <laughs> I might start Nails on a Chalkboard. I might start that podcast. Ooh. Do you think people would listen to it? I wouldn't. I mean, you can listen to it sped up, though. Oh, that would be even like better. Two, two X. <laughs> Let's do it at two X speed. I think like a fish to water, you can bring people over there. I think so, too. Thanks, so, Crouch. Here's a two for This guy you. believes in me. That's right. That's right. You go, Carl. You can do it. I can do it. Don't listen to literally everyone else who calls you a jerk. <laughs> um, um, th- I got to stop reading the internet. It turns out I suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Um, all right, uh, my number 11, and I'm not even kidding, they get into addiction, and they talk yeah. about gambling, they talk about heroin, they talk about alcohol, and they also talk about frozen yogurt. Mm. That's so This is going to get serious, is what mm. you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I don't mean to bring it down so much, right. but let's go there. Uh, listener discretion is advised. Yeah. <laughs> Most people keep their addictions hidden away from people because it's so, you know, the depths of it is so shameful. Yeah. And I bet you anything, as someone who used to be addicted to things, you know, like I used to go only, I used to only eat frozen yogurt. Like only this this low cal frozen yogurt. At 7 Eleven. Well, I used to go to different frozen (laughs) yogurts. Well, she can really fucking relate. Her and Artie Lake should have a conversation. Well, but but here's the thing. Uh, the, the thing about addiction, and, uh, you know, Carl, producer Chris, maybe you guys, it has consequences, man. It has fucking consequences. Sure. And this isn't a contest. You know what I mean? We're not, like, competing who's got the sob, you know, the sob story. I mean, you know, I'm an alcoholic myself. I've been to some places. But number 12, the consequences of a yogurt addiction are, like, they're heavy, dude. This is something I hear about all the time. It is because you think it's unique because you figure out ways. And I bet you anything people who are gambling addicts, they I also do it. the same thing. Where I did it. You don't want to go back when these people, you wait like six hours. So the person's shift has ended and it's a new group of people that aren't going to judge you for being there twice in a day. I ruined relationships. I wasted <laughs> years of my life. I embarrassed myself in front of family and friends. She didn't want somebody to see her get yogurt twice in one day. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of uh, Bob Saget's character. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I used to suck dick for coke. <laughs> yeah. You ever suck dick for frozen yogurt? <laughs> I, don't answer that. I actually don't want to know. Thank you for knowing what I was talking about. <laughs> um, all right. What else you got on here, Crush? Uh, so at one point, Nikki has to leave real quick, and it's up to the other two hosts to cover. And boy, oh boy, you want to hear some Uh-oh. fucking lightning in a bottle. Oh, no. Uh, my number 15. I mean, um, what? I have to pause really quick because I am going to have explosive balcony. Oh. Uh-oh. So anyways, no, I, we might be able to hear it. <laughs> Wait one sec, folks. No. Oh. Well, Nikki's Nothing. really fast in the bathroom, especially if it's explosive. So maybe we Are can you just quick, wait. I'm a quick pooper. Are you a quick pooper? No. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, God. Fascinating. That went sideways quick. <laughs> and they call it balcony for some reason, which yeah. whatever. Who knows? Um, it's actually a very quick poop break. I'm sure you're all very happy to know. Oh, good. Then they come back and they do my favorite fucking thing. Well, one of my many favorite things. My favorite. They're all my favorites. <laughs> um, Both my favorite. <laughs> uh, middle-aged people talking about their medical fucking problems. Number 16. And I, I'm going to play this clip. I'm sorry. I just want to point out, if you do have to take a shit during your podcast, it's very easy. You just hit this. No one will complain about right. that. My, I have had kettlebell tits. I have had... <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, my God. I have had a migraine that started last night that I thought was due to dust in my contact lenses. And now... And then I just thought I had to poop so bad which i did but at the same time i you know when i went to wipe i'm like oh no i'm shitting and then it was just is my i started my period it's such a hey oh god is that what they were talking about before ah man i'm glad i tuned in today oh jesus christ and then we get into some (laughs) medical advice and like you know, look, I, I'm not trying to, like, fucking walk the line here, but, but you know, placebo effect is very real. Sure. Understanding psychosomatic illnesses is very real, psychosomatic pain, things like that. And uh, uh, science today doesn't understand this. So I'm not saying this is, like, totally wacky, but number 17 is totally fucking wacky. <laughs> That's why that pain book, the healing back pain, is so good because when you know that your back pain is coming from your mental anguish, you don't have to heal. The mental anguish does not have to heal. Just knowing the source makes it go away. You don't have to heal your trauma. You just have to know that the trauma exists, and then bam, magical healing. It sounds fucking great, doesn't it? I own it's this awesome. book. It, it, Howard Stern used to talk about this book he sure did. all the time. Yeah, he, he was sure really did. into it. He sure did. And <laughs> as someone who injured my back a few years ago, uh, moving Carl's amplifier, holy fuck. <laughs> it's, a um, heavy, it's a heavy hand. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Love you, Leo Fender, but Jesus Christ, bro. Seriously. Um, uh, yeah, f- go fuck yourself, dude. Just understand that some trauma happened. Yeah, I was fucking there for the trauma. It doesn't fucking understand. And then this is my last one I got, number 18. Uh, I, I don't think these guys are very bright. And my grandpa loved classical. 
<laughs> he did. I mean, that's all he would listen to, and I'd be like, "What the fuck, dude?" But it, and now when I I, I get it, he just was tired of words. <laughs> huh? You would, you would just yeah, go to your go, grandpa and go, "What the fuck, dude?" <laughs> yeah. He fucking loved when I kept it real. <laughs> oh my god! Like, you're uh, fucking really putting on fucking. Chotsky again or whatever. Chotsky. <laughs> I don't even know. I know the I know the composer you're thinking of, but I don't. Joplin know. or whatever. How you, well, just got Joplin. <laughs> oh, Chopin. 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 Yeah, Chopin. But I know the one you're thinking of. It has like a T T S C H. Oh God! Holy shit! Noah, run for your life! Run. Who are these podcasts? W A T P.